Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator video for M Creator Lore. And today what we're going to be working on is a potion system for basically food. And when an item is used, what I want to do is basically add that item um, for uh, status effects. And this will use config files, so it'll be completely customizable for uh, other mods to add their own foods and stuff like that to uh, Tale of Biomes and stuff. So that's the general idea. Uh, first of what I needed to do was create a return uh, reset system, which I basically link to my main script where I'm running all the configura configuration stuff. So uh, that that's important. So we need to make sure to include into the um, um, generates script to basically go ahead and um, create a um, what do you call it like a off system and we also need to in include a reset system for the thing so for the reset system I'm just going to use an else statement and I'm going to get the value for the reset which is on the root um, uh, object for the uh, config file and I was just updating the name so it was stays consistent through my other config files and then I needed to add um, a, a local vari or a logic variable so I could basically test if the variable is true or not and then what I could do is I could go ahead and I needed to test if the reset exists and if the um, what do you call it the uh, value is true so when if the value is true then or pardon me if it is a boolean and if the value is true then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a um, our basic script for all the things so I created that and then I could generate something like this that took a while to do so I just cut it out for the editing and stuff because it does take a quite a long time to actually set up a config file so basically in short what I have is I have settings and then tail of biomes and then I have foods and drinks so those are the main categories so tails of biomes is the namespace of the mod uh, this can be any namespace for the item uh, that it's uh, basically under so if it's a, like minecraft item it would be minecraft and then I have the ID or item identifier which is the registry for the cup or whatever item that would be eaten or consumed uh, there's the namespace for the particle effect or the status effects as well as the um, other variables for the status effects as well so we could all run it through a command now in order to run it through a command what we need to do is we actually need to set a um, item uh, for the player so we're going to set player item effect and we need to create basically that config file over again, but using basically testing for all the values. So it this part took even longer. Um, so I, I didn't co cover all of it, just mainly importing all the different variables for the objects, which I needed for the um, parts of the script and stuff like that. I will do a quick overview at the end of the, towards the end of the video of what the procedures actually look like and hopefully that can help you understand how everything works it's a lot of script so basically what i've got here is if i right click on the item and consume it it will basically give us re regeneration this will only happen if we actually consume the item now you might notice that it's like five minutes that's because i had the time to uh for the potion effect for like 300 or something like that which is in seconds not actual ticks so I needed to adjust that a little bit more but uh, just wanted to make sure that the script was working just for that item and uh, not anything else that was being used so I just basically broke some um, grass with the shovel here just to make sure that everything was working and I wasn't getting any status effect from that all right, so that's basically that part. And to cover the uh, things, what I have here is the procedure for all of the um, the getting like applying the status effects. So I have two different things. I have the namespace, and then I have drinks, and then it gets the drink value. 
and then runs the command for the effect for give and then at player and then down here is the exact same thing it's just basically running it for the drinks one so it's a little bit different but not too different it's mostly just the variables are different for the um, drinks and drink so that's the only difference there and all this is running from our config so then for the config generation itself uh, this is basically what I have for my generation and I am going ahead and testing if it's the reset is true or f setting the reset false and then I'm basically testing if it's true so basically resetting this to true will regenerate the configuration and that allows automatic updates and stuff like that for this particular uh, file which um, basically allows me to uh, reset everything in the settings file so I just delete the settings file value and I reset that entire thing which basically I do there and to cover the update part this is basically what's the controls the update part auto up updates enabled so it will automatically update and then there is the version which um, in the M creator I have um, what is it the update config which basically gets that particular build number and I'm comparing it with the latest mod version which I have to set each um, update right here so basically that's that part and then that it compares it with the um, build and latest uh, variable down below and then if that's true then it resets all the config uh, files for the thing and sets the build to the latest version so that's basically it um, there's just a few different things I should probably note with this config uh, so f for first thing is there's drinks and these drinks can actually be have multiple ones so if you want multiple status effects for the a particular item you can actually add another entry here and because the ID or item identifier is different uh, or pardon me the the name of the object is different we can actually specify the same uh, ID identifier and we can show particles and set the uh, ambient or amplifier for the status effect as well as the time and we can actually set the number here to two and then on that will be a second um, status effect for that particular item so we could give luck and regeneration if we wanted to using this method and as far as the namespace here this would be the namespace of the mod or where the item resides so that's where we're getting the namespace from and then we're also having um, so if we want to do like minecraft then we would basically go ahead and do something like minecraft and then we could specify minecraft items under these parts here so i don't think there's an actual jar but if there was one then we could add one for that i think they're called like water glass water bottle or something like that so we would type in the registry for this part of the name and we would specify the namespace and stuff for the potion and the registry for it so that's basically it um it's not too complicated but uh, it's definitely a little bit uh, different and if we wanted to go ahead and add a section for food we can also add it to food as well uh, it's the exact same properties as the system but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out